Hello everyone, it's Carbs here, and today we're going to talk about Pixel Projects. Pixel Projects has a tab management extension for Aspray, which allows you to save and swap between multiple groups of files. You'll hear me reference these projects, which is what I am kind of dubbing these. The tool was requested by Lesma Pixels, and I was delighted to work with her on this one. Uh, be sure to check out her art and uh, her Twitch page down below. All right, so once you get Pixel Projects installed, you'll have a new menu option underneath the file menu. It's gonna be Open Project. This will go ahead and open up the main interface. So how Pixel Projects works is you create uh, different projects. Uh, for instance, this is my uh, just my <laughs> blank background uh, project here. And if I want to switch to, say, I'm working on my stream avatars, I can swap to that one. So here's my little uh, chocobo guy that I use on our streams. Um, there's also a little rocket ship that we were playing around with. Uh, here's a campfire for um, the campfire stream avatars plugin that we made. Right? Uh, and then here's also just the, like, uh, prototype that we kind of worked on. Uh, and the, like, sprites cheat for that. Then I can also switch back to, say, Z background, right? So here we are. So now you can swap between the different projects that you've made uh, super quick. I've got another one here. Um, these are sprites from uh, a game that uh, Tiny Justice and I worked on uh, called Critter Cottage. I'll make sure to put a link down in the description so you can go play it right now uh, in the browser, actually. Um, but these are the sprites that Tiny created for each of the different uh, stages of the um, the growth of the plant, for instance, or the painting. Um, here's some food sprites for that. <laughs> Honestly, they're really good. Uh, and also the characters as well. The cat is my favorite. Look at him. Look at this little guy. Aww. <laughs> but anyways... So with Pixel Projects, you can make these groups of tabs of or files um, and put them all into a little project, and then that way you can switch between them. But let's go ahead and uh, I'll show you guys how to get started with this and create a project. First, we're gonna open up some files um, that we'd like to have in our project. So I'm gonna do that really quick. I'm gonna just look around and see if I can find a couple files uh, that we can toss together. Okay, so I loaded up some of the uh, assets here from a game that we worked on for a tabletop simulator called Battle Cards. Uh, and this is just different. Um, here's like some of the cards here. Um, we've got the draw pile, we've got the dungeon, we've got the uh, the dungeon break card, we've got the swap places card, the play mat, the quick reference, and uh, here's the workshop uh, thumbnail. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a new project out of this. Um, so that way we can have it available in our little drop down here. So now that we have all of our files loaded up, we'll hit new project uh, and then we'll type in a name. So we'll call this battle cards and we'll go ahead and hit create project. Uh, now this will go ahead and save all of these file locations into a new project called battle cards. So now if I swap to, let's say we go back to uh, stream avatars, I uh, swap to this. And then later on, we're gonna work on some battle card stuff. I can go to battle cards, swap there. And then this will go ahead and load up all of the uh, files for battle cards. So you can see this could be nice. This could be nice. <laughs> uh, it's a lot It's a lot easier than um, having to dig through the file system and uh, and go back to find all of these things. Okay, so now let's talk about uh, the, the different buttons here on the interface. So the minimize, this is just to kind of pull it up out of the way. Uh, this is pretty standard with all of my tools nowadays. If you've seen any of the others, um, this is just to kind of pull it up out of the way if you want to keep it open. Uh, the info tab, this is where you can find kind of like a quick reference for all of the uh, little functions here um, instead of having to go to the itch page. Uh, which there is a link right up here um, if you click on that. Uh, there's also a link to the video that you're watching right now. So that'll be here, um, as well as a bug report 
and uh, a little extra thank you here. Um, so this is the main dropdown, um, which you see us using. Um, so this is to switch between which project you'd like to switch to. Um, so for instance, uh, Critter Cottage Sprite Sheets, swap to it, and then these will this will close and reopen uh, the Critter Cottage Sprite Sheets. Okay, so let me go back to my background. I'll swap to that. Now the open project, what this will do is this will uh, append uh, the current files that you have open. So if I say, if I go to uh, Critter Cottage and swap to that, and then let's say if we go to uh, Stream Avatars and I hit Open Project, this will open the Stream Avatars project um, in combination with the, the one that you already have. This is just useful if you want to open multiple projects uh, at the same time. Um, you can just kind of click on the open project and it'll open the next one as well. Um, all right, let's go ahead. We'll switch back to uh, the blank background. We'll swap to that. And we'll talk about the edit projects. So this edit projects, this is where you're going to modify which files are in a project. You can also modify the name uh, and you can also remove the project as well. So let's go ahead and open up uh, the edit projects here. And by default, you'll see that the current project that you're on is inside of the box. And um, we can actually see which files are in this, uh, any of the projects here. In this drop down here, um, these are all of our projects, very similar to our list here. Uh, but this is just inside of the edit settings. So we can change this and it doesn't affect our other box. Um, so the blank background. Um, if I want to see what files are inside that project, I can go ahead and toggle the show file list. And you see we have a blank .a sprite file in there. Uh, we can also toggle show full file pass, and this will show the uh, full file. So I just have this on my E drive. Um, if we switch to something like uh, the Critter Cottage, right, I can see all of these files here. So character sprite sheets, uh, fruit sprite sheets, plant sprite sheets. Uh, and we can see the full file path here. So this is inside of the uh, project tiny code, uh, asset art, a sprite files, etc. Uh, and by default, this is turned off just so you just see the um, the file and the extension. So also we can come in here and we can rename our uh, project. So for instance, if I want to rename this Critter Cottage Sprite Sheet uh, project, we can click on rename and then I can rename this. So let's say if this is Critter Cottage is cool. <laughs> um, and then we just click rename project and that'll go ahead and change our project name. And everything should work exactly the same. So if I switch to something like uh, battle cards, right? Uh, and then that loads up. And if I go back to Critter Cottage is cool, that'll go ahead and, uh, and do that. So let's rename this back again. <laughs> let's go ahead and rename that. There we go. Um, so uh, these buttons here are very dynamic. So when you're renaming a project, it's going to say rename. Um, when you're updating a project, uh, this will say update and update and close. Um, so, um, let's say if we had, um, we wanted to make some modifications to this project as far as, uh, what sheets are open, right? Let's say if we wanted to include maybe that blank, that blank background, uh, in, in our, uh, project. So I'll open that up as well, right? So here's our blank, uh, background. Uh, now what we can do is under Critter Cottage Sprite Sheets uh, is we can update this project. And this will show a warning that says, hey, you're about to uh, override the uh, the tabs that are in that project. And that's okay, we'll go ahead and press yes. So now that's gone ahead and updated our Critter Cottage Sprite Sheets to include the blank file I have here. So if I swap back to say Battle Cards, right, that'll load up. And then if we go back to Critter Cottage, swap to that, uh, you'll see that the blank uh, is included inside of there. So that's pretty cool. Um, the other thing that we can do is if we go to update this project uh, and close, if let's say if I, let's get rid of that blank, come on. 
and we'll go to update and close. Now what this will do is it's going to update the project with the current tabs and it's going to close all of the tabs that are currently open. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll say yes. And then that'll go ahead and get us back to our main page here. Um, so that's cool. Um, let's go ahead and open that back up again. So we'll open up the blank background. Cool. So those are kind of the like basic functionality of this. Um, oh, there was one last button actually. Um, there's the remove selected project. So let's say if I went to battle cards and I wanted to remove this project, just select it from the drop down and click remove selected. And this will say, hey, are you sure you want to remove the project from stored projects? And uh, we could click no and it'll do nothing. Um, or we can click yes and that will go ahead and uh, remove it from our list. So it is no longer here and it's also no longer here. Oh, Editor Carbs here, I forgot something. Uh, it doesn't do anything with your files. The only thing that it does is it keeps a list um, saved in a file. Um, it's like a text file, um, but it has uh, it has all of your file paths to uh, each one of the different files that you have in your project. And um, yeah, that's how it stores it. So um, don't worry when you go to hit remove selected project, it's not actually deleting anything or changing anything. Um, it's only changing the list itself. So, you know, it's okay. Uh, it should be noted that these projects will persist. Um, even if we close a sprite and reopen it, um, your projects will stay in the list. So um, between multiple sessions, you can have projects uh, and whatnot. Um, also, when you're making a new project, you can also create and close as well. So let's say if we create this one blank, uh, blank two, and I create and close, this will go ahead, create the new project and close the current file, just like that. And then we can swap back to it. I can swap to the blank background. I can swap to Critter Cottage, um, etc. So pretty neat. Um, one thing to note here is that your list here is going to be in alphabetical order. So there was a reason why I named this Z blank background. Um, so that way it goes at the very bottom. Uh, kind of a cool thing that Lesma had thought about was being able to reorganize her projects. Say if she has some active ones or maybe some that are on hold um, or if she wants to set different priority, that's something that you could do by simply renaming the project. For instance, if we had our Critter Cottage Sprite Sheets, and maybe that was like our top priority right now. We can go into Edit Projects, Rename, and then maybe we could put like a one here uh, and then rename this. So now what's gonna happen is this will be at the very top of our list. Uh, and again, it's alphanumerical, so numbers will come first, symbols will come before that. So then let's say if we have one that's on hold, maybe we have our stream avatars and we're not working on this right now. So um, we don't even need to select this, we could be here. Um, if we select this and go to stream avatars, we'll rename this like ZZ, and then that would put it all the way at the bottom of the list. So um, yeah, you can kind of get creative with uh, how you want to sort your projects. Um, another thing that you could do is make a uh, some sort of break. Maybe you would do something like this, right? You would create a new project. Um, let's see if we just wipe all these out. We'll go to our uh, our blank background. Uh, and I'll create a new project here from this. Um, oh, you can create a new project in this uh, dialog as well. So you can just do here and create a new project. Uh, instead of clicking on new project, you just select new project from the list. So then we can just do something like this. Like, let's just say I did like X, 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 X. Uh, and we'll use this as sort of a, um, a, a sort of like a little barrier here. Um, so then we have our like active projects up top and then we have our all of our Z's that are down at the bottom. Um, so we can swap here, we can swap here uh, and whatnot. So yeah, pretty neat. Okay, so I think that's gonna do it. Um, I think that's everything here. Um, unless I've forgotten something and then I'll, I'll edit something in, but uh, hold on, I just remembered something. <laughs> I just remembered something we can do. I can. I need to show this off because this is actually something very cool and I can't believe I forgot about this. Everything, all of these, um, you know, swapping the project and, uh, and whatnot, saving the project, 
all of these have to do with the main Acebrite window. So whatever uh, window your home is on, that's where um, all of the tabs are gonna be saved. So the kind of neat thing here is, let's say if we open up uh, the stream avatars, right? And I'm gonna take Chocobo, and I'm gonna throw Chocobo over here. So Chocobo's over here, he's chilling out. Uh, and then let's just say if I had, uh, you know, the spaceship down here. Now, the only thing that's gonna get modified is this window up here, the main, the main window. Um, because this is the this is the main window. This is a side window or a sub window, and this is also a sub window. So now when we're up here, um, if I swap to Critter Cottage, this will not modify these. So let's say if you have some reference, um, or maybe you have something going on on stream um, that you uh, you want to pin to one of the sides here, um, this will not modify um, your. Um, the tabs on the side here. So it only does the main window. Um, and that's that's something to note because um, it's good to have these uh, these little sub windows, um, especially if you're you know working with a reference or if you just have something going on and it's you know it's nice to have these uh, these little windows over here. Um, so these will not be affected by the tool. And also again, just to just to really nail it home uh, when you create a new project it will be whatever is in this main window uh, where the home tab is so for instance if I go ahead and um, you'll see that we have chocobo spaceship and we have these three files here um, if I hit create new project new thing um, and I create the project let's say if I then swap to our blank background and we'll swap to the new things. We'll swap to that so that you'll see it only has these three tabs. Uh, even if I close these, this will only load up the uh, three tabs. So it doesn't, it doesn't take into account anything that's on the side. Um, it only uh, is, it only cares about what's in the middle where this home is. So, just keep that in mind when you are creating and editing projects. Um, it will not include the sub windows, um, but it also will not close the sub windows. So um, good stuff. Yeah, this is um, Pixel Projects. Again, worked with uh, Lesma on this one. Very, very exciting. Um, I think this is gonna be a cool plugin for emotes um, or even just, you know, maybe you have a bunch of projects you wanna show off. Like, uh, you know, especially like if you're live streaming on Twitch or something, um, maybe you want to have one that is, you know, we have a project here and we'll just call this like showcase, right? So then we can do that. So then anytime maybe you get like a raid or something, uh, you could just flip over to your showcase and that would load up uh, your uh, your different things here. Um, so yeah, um, it's, it's pretty versatile. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think about it and uh, if this is something that you would use. Uh, and if so, what would you use it for? What kind of, uh, what kind of uh, projects would you create where you could put multiple tabs into um, one thing. All right. So that is going to be it. Uh, thank you again for, uh, for watching and, um, guys, we hit 500 subscribers, um, you know, a few weeks ago. And, uh, I just want to say a huge thank you. Um, I hope you guys are really enjoying these videos and, uh, you know, it's very cool. It's very cool to be able to, uh, make these videos for you guys. And, um, uh, yeah, I hope they're very helpful. Thank you for everybody that's been sharing the videos and the uh, the different projects that I work on, uh, as well as liking the video. It helps a ton. And uh, of course, subscribing. So um, thank you so much. I, I really do appreciate it. Again, shout outs to Lesma for approaching me with this idea. Um, I, think we, uh, I think we did a really good job on it and um, I'm very excited about it. Make sure to check out her links down below and check out uh, this tool over on each.io. He's adorable. My goodness, Tiny, you're too much. You're too much, Tiny, with these sprites. My goodness.